Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my newborn favorites. So if you wanna see this, stick around. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom of five and I like to do videos on homeschool, motherhood, organization, and DIY. If you like that kind of content, consider subscribing below and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I do try to upload a video at least once a week and sometimes I even do bonus videos. After having five babies, I realized what I needed and what I really didn't need and what was just pretty much a waste of money. So like I said, today I'm gonna share some my favorite newborn products. Some of these I liked for me and some of them I liked for my babies. So let's get into this. The first few things I'm going to show you are clothing. I really love these zip up jammies. I'm telling you, I hate buttons. In the middle of the night when you're trying to change a baby, first of all, you really don't want to have to unbutton everything and then you have to button it back up. Well, I'm a huge fan of zippers. Along with the zippered ones, I really, really like Target brand. Um, it is called Cloud Island. These ones, uh, not only are they cute, but these ones zipper down instead of up, which is super nice. Watch this. So they zipper down. So um, when you have to change the baby, you only have to open this part instead of having to zip the whole thing down. You just zip up and then let their little feet out and then change them. So I really like these. Another thing that I really like for the newborn stages are these little gowns. I loved these with all of my children. These were probably one of my favorite things until I found the Target uh, zipper ones. But these ones have a hole at the bottom, so really you only have to scoot their little bum out to change them and nothing else is cold. Uh, and then you just pull it back down. But I really love these. I really love these, <laughs> these sleepers. Um, it's just all in one. You don't have to try and fit legs in there. So yeah, I really love these too. So, all of these type of sleepers are definitely my favorites. The next thing I really love, I had one of these with my oldest, but I didn't even know how to use it, so I never used it. But with my other four, when I started using it, I mean, all of my kids loved this. I know some babies don't really like it, but I feel like if you swaddle them the right way, they will like it. They were so used to being snugged up tight in the womb. When babies are born, they have a natural tendency to like move and do these like reflex things. So it's so nice to have a swaddle. Now I have a few different kinds. I'm gonna show you all of them, but I'm gonna show you which one is my favorite. Okay, so we have Swaddle Me. Now this one, this one is my favorite, the Swaddle Me's. And I always swaddle my babies until they start to almost roll over. Then I kind of wean them off of it by letting them have uh, one arm out at first for a couple nights. And after they're used to sleeping with one arm out, I do both arms out. And then after that, they just, they're, they're good with it. And then I just kind of put them in one of these. Okay, so with these, you stick the baby in here like this and you kind of, oh, wrong way. And you flip this up, you stick them in here, and then you just wrap them up tight. And then these are little Velcro tabs and it Velcros to right about here. Um, and they're like a little pea pod. They're like a little pod. It's so cute, like a little taco, a little burrito. I tell you, all my babies love this. Well, the last four, because I didn't know what I was doing with Nathan. Hashtag first time mom, right? But I love this one, is my absolute favorite. I have a couple of these in different patterns. The next one is this one. Now this is a Swaddle Me too. I thought this was pretty cool. I almost kind of wish they made them all like this because I don't know, this one might've been my favorite. But it's the same thing, but it has these little feeties at the end. And where is it? and a little zipper. So instead of having to take them all the way out of this to change them, you just unzip this. This is genius. I got blessed with this and I was like, yes, this is 
awesome. Well, I really love this one too. So this is also a swaddle me. I will link all of these products if I can find them in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. So this one right here is also a swaddle me brand, but instead of uh, tucking them in, it's you just pretty much put them in this and it zips up. I did kind of like this. Um, I like I like the idea of it because I thought this was cool that they had a zipper on the bottom as well. So you can either zip it all the way off and take them out or zip it up and just take their little bum out to change them. But it was kind of like stretchy. So I feel like when she, when she wiggled in it, it didn't really hold her in very good. I liked the other ones better because you could tighten it a little tighter and it's a little bit more snug on them versus this. And I feel like her hands got out of here uh, really easy. So I wasn't a really big fan of this. So this one is a Woomby and this one is zero to six months and it actually has zippers on the side so it can grow with your baby so it gets a little bit bigger. Um, and then it has a zipper on this side. And this one also, uh, zips down and it also zips up. I did like this one. I definitely liked it better than the Swaddle Me brand, but overall my favorite is this one. The next few clothing items I'm going to show you are for me. <laughs> if you plan on nursing, for real, you have to have a nursing bra. Now, when I had Isaac and Justice, I had these bras called Bravado. They were awesome. They are almost, they were pretty pricey. They were like 50 bucks a piece, which to me was worth it. They were really comfortable and amazing. Even though it was a little pricey, I thought of it like this. I would buy Victoria's Secret bras and the Bravado bra was kind of like a Victoria's Secret bra for nursing. I absolutely loved it, but after my fourth, I didn't think we were gonna have babies for a long time, so I blessed somebody with it. <laughs> um, and then I got pregnant like probably a month or two after that, so. but. Then someone blessed me with these bras and they're just from Amazon, I guess. I'll try and link it, like I said. Uh, but this was the three pack. These were really close to feeling like the Bravado bras. So I really did like these and um, I'm not sure how much you paid for them, but I'll, like I said, I will try to look them up on Amazon and link them down below. The next item is a nightgown, a nursing nightgown. Listen, I, don't even nurse. Uh, I will do a whole another video on breastfeeding alone. I am no longer nursing or pumping and I still wear these. I got these, I think with, I think Justice. And I wore these even when I wasn't pregnant anymore or nursing. I wore these all the time. I got three of them and these are from Motherhood Maternity. I absolutely love these nightgowns. These are amazing. They just, snap down for easy access and they're amazing. I would highly recommend a nursing nightgown. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I wish I had this for all my babies. So the next item that I absolutely loved when I was nursing was my breast friend. Let me tell you, I know some moms have like no problem at all nursing and praise the Lord, hallelujah, you are so blessed. I had the most horrible time ever with every single one of my kids nursing and I could not nurse without this thing. I remember with Nathan, I didn't have this. I had a regular boppy. I hated that damn thing. I want to throw it out the window. And then I even got one when I was pregnant for Faith and I hated that thing. She really only sat in it. And then when Faith was a newborn or maybe it was right before I had her, I found out about this and I got it. Let me tell you, it was the best thing ever. I love this thing. I love this thing so much. Um, I really could not nurse without it. I know some people don't need pillows or anything. That is not me. I needed all the support I could with breastfeeding and this pillow was really my breast friend. That's what it's called. It is amazing. It was my breast friend. Okay, so the next pr product I'm gonna show you is this. This is called like a Mama Way, I think, but it's pretty much a postpartum belly band. And this one was pretty expensive. I was gonna get the belly bandit, but they, I kept seeing reviews on them and it was, 
I don't know. I didn't want to get have to get two sizes. So this thing is really big. And this one is a medium. So, and I've seen good reviews on it. I did like it. I kind of wish I tried something else a little less expensive. I'll link down below this and the other thing that I kind of wish I tried. Um, but I really, it, whether it's this or something else, I highly recommend a postpartum belly band. You know, after being front uh, heavy so long in your belly, like your body needs support. So a belly band is so important. I only had this with my last two babies and I could tell a huge difference. So I highly recommend a postpartum support band. My other favorites was a breast pump. Let me tell you, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I love it because it helped me feed my baby, but I hate it because I was hooked to this thing all the time. With every single one of my babies, I pumped so much. And this time I pumped for about five months. I really do have a love-hate relationship with this pump. <laughs> I wanna throw it out. And then I was like, no, I'm so thankful for it. If you plan on breastfeeding, um, and you want to go back to work or whatever, I don't know. I really highly suggest getting a pump regardless because you never know how your breastfeeding experience is going to go. We all tend to think that it's going to be some easy thing. And for some moms, it is. But for some moms like me, it's not. And it totally sucked and I hated every minute, minute of it in the beginning. So I really highly suggest getting a breast pump if you plan on breastfeeding. A lot of insurance companies now will even help supply the pump for you. So be sure to call your insurance and see if you can get a free breast pump. I have tried a couple brands. Um, what did I try? I think, I, I can't remember. This one was definitely my favorite out of all the ones I tried. I tried two other ones. One, they were like, I don't know, really cheap ones. And I, and I highly suggest a double pump too. And you know what? I'm also gonna link in below. I've never used it, but I have seen, I almost kind of wish I got this to try it out, but it's called a Haka, I think. It's a silicone pump where if you're nursing on one side, you can pump on the other, or you can just double pump with the Haka. I've seen really cool things about it. You should go look it up, and I will try and link it to show you in the description box below. But it's like, doesn't need any batteries, any, outlet it's just this silicone thing that you squeeze and you put it on your boob and then you release and then it draws all the milk out it was really cool and i seen a lot of good reviews on it i kind of wish i got to try that out but it, it is what it is maybe my next skin along with the pump i can't find it i don't know what i did with it but if you are going to get a double pump which like i said i highly suggest you get a double pump get a pumping bra this thing is life changing. I had one when I was pumping with Faith and oh my gosh, I am so happy I got it. Then that one broke after using it for her and Isaac. Then I got another one from Amazon and it lasted me uh, through Isaac and Joy. So I highly suggest a pumping bra for real. They are amazing. The next thing I'm going to suggest is some nipple cream. I made this one from really good stuff. I'll try to link a picture of it right here of the ingredients um, and then maybe in the description box below so check that out. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. I had, um, I had cracked nipples and stuff and this worked so good. Uh, and it was homemade. But if you don't wanna make it homemade, there are some pretty good natural ones that you can get at the store. Another one is a bassinet. I personally do not co-sleep with my kids. I did with Nathan, and then after that, I was like, I'm never co-sleeping again because this kid stayed in my bed forever. And I don't know about you, but I like to sleep with just my husband. I mean, I did co-sleep a couple nights with each one of them, but that was pretty much it. I really like a bassinet. And this is what mine looked like. I really liked it, it was super cute. I got blessed with it. And the next thing is a swing. I love a swing for a newborn stage. And the last thing that was one of my favorite things is a bottle warmer. I have an Avant one and I will show you a picture of it here. Because I pumped, I pretty much used the bottle warmer all the time. And from going from having to boil it on the stove to a bottle warmer is a huge difference in time. 
So those are all my newborn favorites. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're a mommy, comment down below and let me know a few things that were your favorites in the newborn stage. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. All right, guys, have a blessed day. If you're new to my channel, hello. Oh, got hair in my mouth.